What up, everybody? You're now tuned into the true definition of a sports fanatic. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley, and we're going to get into it today. Because first and foremost, I have to start out the show. So I mentioned it on Facebook Saturday night when it happened. I said, it's great to be a Florida hater. It's great to be that. First of all, let's talk about the Florida LSU game and the player of the game. Um, apparently, the player of the game for the Florida LSU game was a size 13 cleat, 12 or 13, could have been a 14, but a size 13 cleat, um, white uh, Nike with um, accents of purple and gold. That was the player of the game. I could not believe the Florida play. I could not believe he threw that shoe. I can't. I could not believe he threw the shoe. I could not believe in a moment of him being in his emotions, he acted so stupid. Why Why would you be so stupid, man? Why? But I'm going to have to be honest with you. Yes, I'm going to get on him, get on him for throwing the shoe. Um, yes, um, I, I can blame the kicker, but, you know, it is what it is. But as far as Florida's concerned, don't turn your blame on the kid that threw the shoe. Don't blame the kicker who missed the field goal at the end. That game should not have been close from the get-go. That game was not lost on the shoot throw, and that game was not lost on the field goal. No, 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 no. You had plenty of time. You had 60 minutes to win a game, and they did not do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. My dude, what's going on? Kano Local Sports in the building. I told you for all your boxing needs, Kano Local Sports on YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. Go support my brother. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit you up. We're going to kick it soon. Um, My time coming up. and We're going to get to those gyms, bro. But um, now Florida can go ahead and the NFL, the NFL, NCAA playoff, that's done. College football playoff for Florida is done. It's gone. That chance is out the window because now to even get in, you now have to beat Alabama. And you not beating Alabama, dog. You're not beating Alabama. Yes, sir. You're not beating Alabama. It's not happening. Mm-mm. No, you're not gonna be able, to, not gonna be able to do it. But but we not gonna be able. To, oh, 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 stop the show. Stop the show. Let's stop the show right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stop. Show. I want everybody to get a good look at that. Look at the AV and look at the name. People, you should know who Harrison Prime is. And then look at that. That's his reaction today. Look at it. Look at look at the AV right there. That that that's the that's the reaction today. It better be still go Steelers. If it ain't go Steelers, then you're not a fan. So it better you better ride with your guys. Win, lose, a draw. Win, lose, a draw, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, come on. Come on with that, dude. But, hey, I'm going to tell you like this, dog. Um, you, 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 might, you might not be, uh, you might, oh, oh, you want to join? Okay, all right, well, well let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Hold on, ladies and gents. I got somebody who wants to come on and who wants to talk. Now, we'll talk something about the Steelers, but I got an entire show, so we'll spend some time on the Steelers, and then, you know, you can go. But, um. Come on, get this work for about for about five minutes, and then I'll send you on your way. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You got something to say. Oh, he got something to say. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, you got something to say. Let's go. Let's go. I- I'm ready for you. Let's go. Let me share a couple of these two uh, groups real quick. So bear with me. See, share, 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 Jag Nation, share, Brother Jags, share. Real deal, Damon Adams, share. Man, um, there we go. Okay, I'm on. I'm on good. Sound good. Uh, World's Great Sports fans. I got one more and then I'm good to go. Uh, our sports and NFL junkie. Oh, 
Tony Hargis, and NFL Junkies. And we're good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting on uh, Mr. Harrison Prime to come on. What do you mean how you do it? You do it like you did it last time. You have been on twice, man. Come on. Come on. Stop playing. I sent it to your um, – I sent it in Messenger. So all you got to do is click it. So let's go, let's go. So back to these Florida Gators. It is absolutely over for these Florida Gators. Who's that? What it do, Amp? Hey, man, are y'all ready for tonight? All my Raven flock, Ravens fold, are you ready for tonight? Hold on, hold on. I got some technical difficulties. Hold on, hold on, um, Harrison. I'm trying to get this straight. But all my Ravens spoke ready for tonight, man. Copy the clipboard. Please be patient. Have some patience with me. This is unprofessional. But there we go. Now let's let let let's go. Now he should come on. So we got a resident Steelers fan, people who's getting ready to come on. He's going to make his case about the Steelers not being done, which they're of course they're not done. They're an eleven win team. But as far as anything beyond a game or two in the playoffs, they're going to have nothing because at this point, you still can't run the football. And you're not going to beat Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs because those guys are unstoppable. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it is not going to happen, man. All right. So that's enough about the Florida Gators. But let's talk about Jalen Hurts, man. Jalen Hurts. I talked about it last week. Jalen Hurts in his debut. It was a good debut. He ran for 100 yards. Yeah, he ran for 100 yards. And um, he threw, I think he threw for uh, like 167. And um, no turnovers. Uh, he had a, had a touchdown. Um, and he, he had a steady hand. He played a really good game. And I did not expect them to beat, to beat the Saints at all. And on the other side, I mean, it's only one game, but the Eagles defense hasn't been that great. And um, hold on. Eagles defense hasn't been that great. Backstage, what you mean backstage? Dude, how, how can you not get on? What, what are you doing? Anyway, um, Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. There, there we go. There we go. Let me let me finish up. But Taysom Hill did not play uh, against an Eagles defense. I can't that, hear you. I can't hear you. Hold on. You, you can't hear me? You must be muted. Yeah, you got to unmute. You got to unmute. Yo, your camera sound like it's, it's making some like distorted noise. Okay, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's like, it, 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 but you know. All right, so boom. When Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Finish this by Taysom Hill. So Taysom Hill um did not play well. I think he ran for only 24 yards, and the Eagles give up more rushing yards to the quarterback than anybody in the NFL. And he he did he did not play well, he didn't run the football, he just did not look good. So it might this might be a preemptive thing, but is it time for Jameis Winston in New Orleans? If I'm New Orleans, I'm getting Jameis Winston in the game, man, and getting him some reps going into the playoffs. All right. With Jameis, 
Say it's on it's on his end. Yeah, yeah, that's on your end, bro. Yo, yo, something wrong with your stuff because I'm coming through clear. You clear now? You clear now? I can hear you. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yeah, 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 we got you. All right, I'm fresh. All right, so now let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So when I say the Steelers are done, sir, when I say the Steelers are done, I'm saying they're done. As far as winning a championship this year, I don't see it happening. It's not gonna happen. Y'all see my name down there? Y'all see my name down there? They gonna clinch what? Gonna clinch the division. And then okay, boom. Oh yeah, you, you you the division is won. You you gonna win the division because yeah. you got you got Cincinnati. Um, uh, who you got left? I know you got Cincinnati. So got, yeah, you going you gonna clinch the division? We got Cleveland and Baltimore tonight. I got Cleveland beating Baltimore by seventeen points, easily. easily. I don't I don't think so. The moment hey, J. Michael, J., J. Michael say, hey, they done. Hey, J. Mike. I'm I'm putting it to you this way. I'm putting it to you this way, Harrison. Right here. I'm gonna put it to you this way. I'm putting it to you this way. You're done in the sense that you cannot compete with the Chiefs right now. Not currently how you are right now. Mm-mm. Okay. It's not happening. So, no. so I heard earlier, and uh I seen what uh Big Big Ben he made a statement about our offense. Our offense is real weak, but we got one of the best. You can't run the football. This is That's the issue. problem. That is the main issue. We hey, Kurson, Kurson, what's up, Kurson? Hey, Kurson, how many how many losses y'all got though? Kurson, he said he gonna get this dub this evening. It don't matter. I got, Lamar I got gonna get that dub. About Seventeen. Yeah, if they can't beat Buffalo, they not beating KC. You're not. You're not beating KC, man. Let You're say, not. Let me tell you what I seen. What I seen was the momentum. The momentum shifted. You know what I'm saying? When you know, what I'm saying we got Connor back. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. You know what I'm saying? Benny Snell doing his thing. Don't 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 knock my dog. But real deal. And when it comes to running the ball, we can't run the ball right now. No. So Big Ben got to throw 50, 60 times a game. No. Yeah. And and knowing that, off the weak ass schedule we done had so far, you know what I'm saying? The fact that we still are eleven and two. Mm -hmm. I mean, playoff time. We're, we're talking about a, a, a well seasoned team. Yeah, the offense will get it together. We'll, we'll we'll pick up somebody. Well, I don't I don't have it. I don't think it's you're you're gonna have a, a huge issue being able to score points. The thing is, is if you get into a track meet, it, it, it's it's not gonna end well. It's well, not going well. The way I see it, the way I see it, all right. And I'm not I'm not being completely biased because of my team. Two losses in a row, so don't be a first round loss. Who y'all don't, don't be? Will y'all don't be? Will y'all get to the playoffs? I wonder. They might get to the spoke. So you need more exposure, bro. You're putting up some good shows. Hey, I, I appreciate it, man. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to get it, keep it popping, dog. Trying to keep it popping. Say so if the Steelers get the run game together, though. Yeah, Jordan, if they can get the run game together, um, yeah, I think so. But there is an issue. And um, Josh Allen, not Josh Allen is not chopped liver. He's not. But for him to have played that well concerns me. Let me tell you. And yeah, you're missing. Are you going to get Bud Dupree back? I hope. I pray because we needed him last night. You need like, Bud Dupree. When we got we got TJ and Bud going, line up, man, look, that game would have been different if Bud would have been there. The pressure yeah. was on Cam Hayward can only do so much. Don't Cam get was a monster. still the number one defense for a reason. Cam was a monster. They couldn't block Cam Hayward to save their life. My dog, my dog was looking like Aaron Donald out there, though. And that he was. Black, though. You know what I'm saying? Cam, Cam ain't no young dude, neither. No. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to us getting in the playoffs, let us mess around and win that divisional playoff game and let us get to the conference championship. Okay, we'll see y'all in the Super Bowl. Okay. And anything is possible. If you can avoid Kansas City, I, I could put you in the Super Bowl. I could put you in the Super Bowl. But we you gotta avoid nobody. Kansas City. We we ain't play nobody, and Kansas City really ain't been playing nobody neither. So truth be told, all it would take 26 Bills 17, and the score was deceiving. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Chiefs beat the Bills. Yeah, yeah, it was. Don't now the Chiefs, the Chiefs schedule, the Chiefs schedule hasn't been pie now. The, cra mm -hmm. the, cra the crazy thing about everybody's statements about us that, that I'm that I'm I'm, I'm kind of ha ha about it's any given Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We lost on a Wednesday. No, we won on a Wednesday. We lost on the following Sunday. So we ain't really been getting no breaks on on time. They keep they keep changing our schedule. So of course we're gonna take some losses on changes of schedule. Come on, they're human beings. Like we can be super fans, we can be fanatics all day, but we can gotta be realistic too. These mm -hmm. guys are playing games like two three days apart. 
Like, well, I, I, and I took that into consideration. What three games in twelve or thirteen days? I took that into consideration. But the thing that um, that worried me was that it was a trend that I saw happening. I saw it in the Jaguars game. It was twenty-seven to three, but I saw some things that worried me in the Jaguars game. And I say, man, this this a better team is going to expose those things. And what did Chase Young say? Chase Young said Baltimore showed them some things. They exposed them. Yeah, they did. But you got you got to also think that we talking about that, that Baltimore Pittsburgh game where you had a lot of people that weren't playing. So I mean, you, come on, the, Baltimore was Both playing sides. a practice squad. Both yeah. Sides. They, they Baltimore's playing a practice squad now. Come on. When we, when we were supposed to play them on, uh, they first took it from Thanksgiving night to that Tuesday. It was because they lost two running backs to COVID. I was happy. I was actually ecstatic. I was ready to play them at then. I mean, I knew we was going to win. But the idea of it all is, is you're supposed to hit them while they're down already. So then Lamar got COVID. So I'm like, come on, man. Then James Conner got COVID. And I'm like, come on, man. What dog? Like, if y'all just don't want us to play, just say that. But I mean, we're looking at it, we're looking at somewhere like, okay, boom. If you remember the first episode that I was on, I made a statement about the Eagles losing to the Washington team with no mascot. We lost to that team with no mascot. Washington has legit been the team that can knock your dreams away. <laughs> Washington's going, to win. Washington's going to win their division. Even if Alex Smith can't play uh, many games down the stretch and his calf or what, I think he got calf tightness in his right leg. If he can't continue to go, Dwayne Haskins can give you enough to win because that defense, they have the best defensive line in their division. And you can make argument they got one of the best in the entire league. Chase Young is a monster. Montez Sweat is a monster. Their backup gets 10 sacks a year on Ryan Kerrigan. It is a very good defense, man. I'll give you that. But we're talking about Redskins for sure. Yeah. They're not the Redskins anymore. They're the football team. <laughs> 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 but yeah. we're talking about the Redskins that are a six and I don't know how many games they really won. I mean lost. Um it's six and seven. Six and seven. So we're, we're talking about them winning their division at six and seven. I mean, come on. How far can they really go in the playoffs? Um, okay. All right. The seven and nine Seattle Seahawks won a playoff game years ago during the Beast Quake. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. But you got to remember, too. Atlanta Falcons, seven, eight, and one, won a playoff game. Come on now. You go in there and you sleepwalk if you want to, and Washington football team going to knock you upside the head. Dude. And that's how I feel about the Chiefs. The Chiefs are not going to win the Super Bowl again. Sorry, I don't care if they got everybody on their team. Look, Washington will end up playing Tampa Bay, and if Tampa Bay finds a way to get in, Washington will play Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay will not Washington. No. Well, Tampa Bay, we could, let, let's switch to Tampa Bay real quick, and because that's one of my topics. Tampa Bay beat the Vikings Sunday, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the Tampa Bay is not going far in the playoffs. They're not because they're too the way they look. They're not where they need to be right now. They can't beat. The, they're not going to beat the Saints. Let's put it this way. I don't care if they roll Dudley do right out at quarterback with the Saints. They're not beating the Saints. It's not right. happening. And look nice. I, I don't think they could beat the Seahawks. Um, they Kirk definitely Kirk cannot Kirk. beat the Rams. They ain't gonna beat the Rams either. Can I make this going off? Jalen Hurts look nice, but yeah. the, the 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 Saints, Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston, like they should run a two quarterback set. Let like Jameis throw it and let Taysom run it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would I, at this point in the season, what you got to lose. I, w- I would have never started Taysom Hill to begin with. I would have started Jameis Winston and allowed Taysom to continue to be a gadget guy like he is. They say he's the white Willie Beeman, and I can't do that. That joke is hilarious because that's man, basically what he is. Let my phone finna die, and I'm on. I'm gonna go ahead and log off for now, but I'm, I'm okay. Put on the charger and keep watching. Oh, I for sure, man. Hey, I appreciate you for coming on, dog. Much no love. Pressure. No, pre- hold on, wait. No pressure. I gotta get used to it. It's all about much love, it. much love, much love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chiefs back to back champs. Hey, Sam Tim. Hey, run it back to her. Sam Tim. Listen, Sam Tim. I'm convinced. Which I, I can't say I'm convinced now because I've been convinced. I was convinced early on because I know what Patrick Mahomes is. I know that you have a defense that's opportunistic. I know that you have. Running backs. I know that you have a tight end. I know you got a, every wide receiver runs a four three or, or lower. Like I, I know that. So the running back tour, like you say, for the Chiefs, it looked like it's happening again. I say the only way 
I mean, you're just going to have to catch Kansas City on a bad day. You really are. You, I mean, you're just going to have to catch them on a bad day. And now that Pittsburgh has dropped their second game, the road to the Super Bowl is going to go through Kansas City. I, I, I just don't see anybody else being being able to beat them in Kansas City. Like um, DeAndre Hopkins, um, when he caught the pass against the Bills and won the game for the Cardinals, um, Patrick Mahomes retweeted it and he you know, called him great. And he said that uh, Patrick Mahomes, he said he told Patrick Mahomes, he said, I thought I had a Super Bowl until you went God mode. When I seen what Patrick Mahomes did to the Texans and the Titans in back to back games, I, man, I, I'm sold. I'm sold, man. I'm sold. See, that's the only way. Yeah, that's the only way. Injuries or you just, I mean, you're going to have to catch Mahomes on a bad, I mean, it's going to have to be a bad day because he threw two picks um, early against Miami. And then what happened? Boom, down the field, boom, down the field, boom, down the field. And the game was out of Miami's hands like that. And they have the ability to do that. See, Pittsburgh only does things the tough way. Don't sleep on them, bro. No, I'm, I just told you, I'm not going to sleep on Pittsburgh. I'm not going to sleep on them. They, yeah, they do things a tough way. I was, I was telling my coworker, I said, if if you, if they had a stat that kept style points, Pittsburgh will be at the bottom of the league in style points because they were like one of the, the like the worst looking 11 0 teams I'd ever seen in my life. If a team's 11 0 rolling into my city to play my team, I'm expecting them, especially if I don't have a good team to stomp us. That's what I'm expecting. And even against other great teams play well, but they just, they don't play. They don't have a lot of style, man. It, it, it is tough and gritty, but sometimes it's just downright ugly. And really too, they could have lost the Cowboys game. <laughs> we want to be honest. So man, I do I, I, I'm not going to sleep on them, Jordan. I'm not going to sleep on Pittsburgh, but as they are constructed right now, not being able to run the football, uh, defense from time to time being a question mark. Uh, the loss of Bud Dupree, even though Cam Hayward and TJ Watt are good, and you have a great back end. And what and what's funny about all of this? What's crazy about all of this is that Ben Roethlisberger doesn't get put on the ground. I think he had like two hundred and sixty something attempts, straight attempts without being sacked, and they're not putting him on the ground, but they're able to move him in the pocket, and that's enough. For the old Ben, the, if, if this was the old Ben Roethlisberger, you guys would be blowing teams out if they couldn't touch him like they can't now. But because he can't really move like that, as soon as he get moved off the spot, it's a different type of ball that comes out of Ben's hands now. He's not the same guy. He's not. He can't, he can't really move, man. I'm telling y'all. I told you I would blitz him all day long, blitz him until the cows come home. So, but, hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, back to Brady and these Buccaneers. They ran the ball pretty well Sunday, but I just I don't see them being able to beat the top teams in the NFC come playoff time. Don't see it. Don't don't see it at all, man. You say you're not wrong about um, any of that, honestly. Yeah, man. I mean, the fact the facts are the facts, man. It, it is what it is. The facts are the facts. Um, but uh, Brady and them. And I root for Brady. I do just like I root for Cam in New England. But I just I don't I don't see the Buccaneers making it far. Not how they are right now. Brady would have to be otherworldly for them to win a championship. And Brady has showed you that he can only be that. Every other game or at best, or he's going to give you two clunkers and then he's going to have a really good game. And you can't afford that in the playoffs. You can't. That defense is good, but you can't um, afford it in the playoffs. Hey, I'm a, I'm just you just a man of faith, Jordan. I'm a man of faith too. I am. I, I I have faith that the Jaguars will get it right one day, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm not. And speaking of Jaguars, you know those are my boys, so I gotta talk about them. Um, how the game went Sunday is pretty much how I thought it would go. I thought that um, the Titans would win by two touchdowns or so. Um, so you know what it was? They won by three touchdowns. They won by twenty one. So I, I figured that that would be the case. Um, now, don't get people getting excited about Gardner Minshew coming back in, which I understood why they didn't go back to him when he got healthy because Glennon, what Glennon showed you. But Glennon is Glennon for a reason. Glennon has not been good. He wasn't good in college. There was actually, 
let, let's let, let's go down another path real quick. Just real quick. There was actually a head coach that thought it was better to play Mike Glennon than to play Russell Wilson. That actually happened, people. At North Carolina State, Russell Wilson was the starting quarterback. Going, he was in going to his senior, he was in the senior year. And the coach liked Mike Glennon because he's six seven, tall, strong, drop back passer, and he's fair skinned. So he liked him. And they actually thought it was a good idea to start Mike Glennon over Russell Wilson. Mike Glennon has never been good. He wasn't good in Tampa. He wasn't good in Chicago, and he's not good now. See, the Jacks can only suck for so long. It would have been an interesting offseason. Uh, yeah, it, it will be. Khan got to get it right, man. You have to get it right. See, Jaguars need a real QB if they ever plan on succeeding. Hey, I agree. Not only do you need a, you need a real QB, but you also need a, a very good head coach. I told you I like Eric bien um, I've been hearing it's um, the whispers about Bill Cower. Bill Cower's not coming back to football because he's had plenty of chances to come back to football and he hasn't done it. I don't believe he's coming back. But Eric Bieniemy, the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, that uh, him definitely. I like him. Um, I like Robert Sala, the defensive coordinator for the 49ers. Um, you know, he he said he's not listening to the noise right now. He's focused on winning games, but I do like him. Uh, for GM, I talked about it in my preview of the Jags uh, Titans game. Um, I like Lewis Riddick. Uh, I like John Dorsey. Uh, Bucky Brooks is another candidate. Uh, so we, we, we'll see, man. But until they get GM, head coach, and quarterback correct, we're going to continue to be exactly what we are. See, Jaguars also need a receiver other than Shark. Yeah. Yeah. I think LaVisca Chenault can be that, man. LaVisca Chenault is good. It's just that they, I hate, I don't like the way they use him. They, 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 they were very creative with him early on, but now they've kind of gone away from that. They need, I think they should use him, use him better, man. Uh, that's where a better offensive coach is going to come into play. I really hope that we, you know, get us a better offensive coach. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm not upset with Justin Fields at two. Um, I think Justin Fields is going to be a good quarterback. Um, Trevor Lawrence is going to the Jets. Jets probably not winning the game. Um, but I told you who my favorite is. I love Trey Lance. Uh, Zach Wilson, who um, I got a chance to see a little bit. I do like Zach Wilson. Um, I do like um, – I don't like Kyle Trask. Let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's talk about this again real quick. Kyle Trask is fool's gold, people. You saw how he struggled against LSU. Yes, he did struggle against LSU. And that's probably his worst game he's played all year. He was missing this, the probably the best player in all of college football in his tight end, Cal Pitts. But his issues as a passer reared its head against LSU. LSU hasn't been a great defense, but LSU still has ballers. And Kyle Trask could not get it done. And not especially not when he needed to, not when it was most important. <laughs> so as far as Jacksonville is concerned, Man, we just we need a complete reset. And Shah Khan, a hundred losses since he's taken over the team in 2012. I mean, that dude, that's eight years, and you have a hundred losses. You you have you man, you you got to be ashamed of that. You have to be. You have to be ashamed of that. You have to fire everybody, even his son. His son works for the organization. Fire your son too. Fire everybody. Fire the janitors. Fire the cleaning crew. Uh, fire the people who do the turf, the, the side on the field. Um, fire the, fire everybody. Fire the parking lot attendants. Fire uh, safe security or CSC or whatever security you have. Fire the off-duty JSO officers. Fire everybody. See, really? I just want to see Jack start checking it down the field. They play so conservatively. Uh, Yeah, they play conservatively because you don't have the tools to chuck the ball down the field. You don't have a Tyree Kill or Travis Kelsey or Patrick Mahomes. You don't have a Ben Roethlisberger, Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, and Juju Smith-Schuster. You don't have a, you don't have an Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, um, uh, uh, Tunyon, and all those guys. You don't have that. So, of course, you cannot chuck the ball down the field. They play conservatively because that's their game. That's what they're best suited for. 
What you see when they try to go down the field from time to time, you've seen the results. It's not a very good result. So I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So um, as far as the Jaguars are concerned, I'm, I'm, I'm done talking about them. They just they they make me so mad sometimes, man. But you know, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. But um, what's interesting, um, the Bill Belichick is not ready to make a quarterback change in New England, and I know he's not. Because if he had a better option, he would have been win with it. Jared Stidham and um, uh, was it Brian Hoyer are trash. They're absolute trash. So he's not uh, going to make a determination on that for a long time. And I think Cam, I think they should run it back with Cam next year because you're not going to be high enough in the draft to get anybody of substance unless you want like a Zach Wilson or a Trey Lance. I'd be very upset if the Patriots got Trey Lance, by the way. You will see some vitriol in Brandon on that day for certain. But um, I guess that's it for my recap on football. Um, pretty much covered all the topics that I want to cover. Um, so, you know, I'll switch over to um, just a little bit of NBA. Um, you know, talk about it's, uh, Mr. Kyrie Irving and um, the situation with him. And, of course, the Nets overall. Now, the Nets look good in their debut. Um, Kevin Durant and Kyrie played well in their debut and they're going to be a problem on the court. They're going to be no issues, man. They're going to be one of the top teams in the East because the East isn't as stacked as the West is. So they're going to be a problem in the East. And if they can stay healthy, I would, I would bet on them coming out of the East to go to the finals if they can stay healthy. But this is, this is what might derail them. And it's funny because outside of injury, of course, that could derail them. That could derail any team. But outside of basketball on the court and anything that can happen on the court, what may derail them is what can happen off the court. Kyrie has already showed you that he's thin skinned. Same with Kevin Durant. How you create burner accounts to talk trash to people who talk trash about you. That's incredibly thin skinned. And because those guys don't have the patience, you chose the media capital of the world to go play in. You chose New York. There's no other place that you're going to be under a microscope and criticized at your every turn than New York. This ain't Oklahoma City and this ain't Cleveland. Here, they're going to be on you. The light is bright. In New York, they got those Burger King French fry lights that keep the French fries hot. That's what's in New York. So you're going to be under a bright light and you're going to face a lot of criticism day in and day out. You can't just play basketball here. And I think that could end up derailing them. And then Kyrie not want to talk to the media and call the media pawns. Dude, you get you. If, if we want to be honest, you're a pawn because of who you get paid by. You can't talk crap about the media and who they have to answer to. Look who you have to answer to Kyrie. And I love Kyrie. I love Uncle Drew. But dude, he can't he can't stop. Start doing this holier than thou crap. Because when it came to things that he shouldn't have spoke on, he had a lot to say. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have anything to say when it's media time. And I think it was Stephen A. Smith. I heard him say that's bad leadership. And it is bad leadership because you are a superstar on the team. So when you don't do your do what you're supposed to do and you don't fulfill your obligations, guess who has to hear about it? They're going to ask all your teammates about it. They're going to ask staffers about it. They're going to ask coaches about it. They're going to ask your GM about it. And they're going to ask your owner about it. It pushes the responsibility off to other people. And that's bad leadership. You need to stand tall and take whatever's coming your way. But no, it's Kyrie, man. Kyrie has always been kind of smug. I told you I like Kyrie. It really hurts me to say these things about Kyrie. It really does. You can see the really hurt in my face right now. It really hurts me to say these things about Kyrie. But you cannot do this, Kyrie. You cannot have this holier-than-thou attitude right now. You can't. Because right now, the Nets look good on paper. And they look like they can be the top team in the East. But if they don't get that together, mm -mm, no. No time soon, man. No time soon. Mm -mm. And then, let's not forget, Kyrie gets hurt every single year, as good as he is. But it is what it is, man. But, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check out the YouTube. 
Um, got a few more videos coming up. Um, hopefully I get to release the part. They released part two of my interview uh, with James Coleman. So I can put that up for you guys to see. Um, it was a great interview I did with James Coleman. Um, I got a, a couple of two more episodes with the 21st man coming up. So can't wait for you guys to see those. Um, hopefully I, I got, I think I got like two more interviews down the pipe, man. I'm just trying to keep it going, trying to stay consistent and trying to build this thing. Um, just, Hey, and, and once again, man, and I always talk about this, anybody that's out there that wants to start something, regardless of what it is, even if it's this, even if this is what you want to do, start it, just start it, just go. Don't be afraid. Don't think people are just they're like they're not going to like it or maybe I'm not good enough. No, forget all of those things. Those things hold you back because you don't want to be sitting in your rocking chair with your teeth in the cup talking about I should have tried this back in the day and I did not. You're going to regret it, man. You're going to regret it. You say I've been lurking on your work, bro, but I see you, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate it. A lot of people are like that, man. I see that a lot of people. People who talk about it, they'll see me and I was like, because I never see them or they never like anything or whatever. So I don't have a record of them, you know, watching or anything like that because I can't see who view it. But um, a lot of people tell me that. And I appreciate everybody for that, man. I appreciate y'all, man. But until next time, man, I'll talk to you guys later. I love y'all, man. Peace.